In this video, we're going over the top five problems on this Pontiac G6. Number one, the VVT solenoids. On this engine, they're located right here. This happens to be the four cylinder version. And this is what gives the cam timing the variable cam timing. Some of the symptoms you're gonna find is the vehicle runs rough, you'll have a check engine light, and sometimes the vehicle will stall. The best way to prevent these solenoids from failing is changing your oil regularly and making sure your oil level is up to par. Number two, the electric power steering. This vehicle has electric power steering and sometimes it doesn't work. There's a steering column that actually has the sensor built into the column and there's a electric motor that's attached to the column. Sometimes the sensor will fail and you have to replace the column. You should get a code for the power steering system that will let you know that you need that. Or also the power steering motor sometimes fails and that needs to be replaced as well. Number three, the BCM connector. BCM is located underneath this panel right here. There's a fuse box under there as well. Just pull that panel off. Here's where the BCM is located. And here's the connector that fails. Some of the symptoms you may find is the taillights are not working and other odd electrical issues. To fix this, it's actually really easy. You need to disconnect the battery and then disconnect those connectors on the BCM. You can reconnect them and the problem should go away. To prevent this from happening long term, you want to use a special dielectric grease that works on low voltage. Regular dielectric grease isn't going to work. Make sure you use a low voltage dielectric grease. Number four, the turn signal switch. Now on this vehicle, the turn signal switch is located right here. And some of the problems you're going to have with it is when you engage the turn signal and you go to turn the wheel and you turn back, it doesn't disengage. Other symptoms you may notice is it's not working properly or it may engage while you're not using it. Number five, front hub bearings. You may notice while you're driving down the road that you hear either a helicopter or an airplane type noise and it changes when you turn the wheel back and forth. Most of the time, that's due to the hub bearings. Now you can grab the wheel if you raise the vehicle up and give it a shake from top to bottom. If there's excessive play in there, most likely it's the hub bearing. You can also grab the coil spring while you turn the wheel. And if you feel excessive vibrations in the coil spring, that can help you determine whether it's the right side or the left side. So there's our top five problems for this Pontiac G6. Overall, these cars are great cars. I actually used to own one. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.